good folk help you Geralt, his crest the bridge, master of the melee. Welcome, welcome. What have you got there? So long. We lift off men and the mighty cry. I pump steel and watch sparks fly. I'm glad. Long live the Kessa Anna and I work from dawn to dusk as last light. Then give my wife a good Hello there. Come here. Yeah? What is it? Now, why does one summon a witcher, hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? I have a problem with a beast. Ah, you the one posted the notice? Go on then, spit it out. What's it about? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. First, my dear witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take umbrage at the familiar tone you take. I expect deference. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bobo. Fine, Monsieur de Bobo. The emphasis falls on the last syllable, Bobo. Mm hmm. See, now I'd rather emphasize something else. Tell me what this is about, monsieur, or I'll change my mind and go. Nautlings and their manners. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm-hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil, then. I beg your pardon? Need more information than that. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? Bodies to examine? Therein lies the rub. None has seen the beast. We've only heard signs of its presence, a strange scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. Noises you mentioned. Where do they come from? Well, everywhere. But they're most clearly audible in the wine cellar. Means the monster must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night, just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. Who's disappeared, if you don't mind my asking? Hmm. Most recently some farmhand, I believe. Despite the vast difference in your social statuses, 
Do you perchance remember the farmhand's name, monsieur? No. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting her mother, but should return forthwith. Oh, that should suffice with the questions. Now tell me, will you take the contract? Yea or nay? Fine, I'll do it. Need to look around here first. Then I'll want to talk to Madame de Bourbeau. Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key to the cellar. Just... Whatever you do, please do not disturb the wine barrels. All is in order! Got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off, maybe? What the?
damn it, it's getting away. Underground stream. Mm. Monster I'm looking for lives underground, digs tunnels, feeds on kikimores. It is big. Very big. Are you learning anything else here? The vast surface. What is the meaning of this? I'm paying you to slay a monster, not demolish my property. Property's falling apart on its own, what with all the tunnels under it. I'd fill those in soon if you don't want your building to collapse. Tunnels? Fiddle my farm, how did tunnels appear down there? Something dug them. A large creature. Also killed a few Kikimors down there and destroyed their eggs. Consider it a half favor. Won't cost you much. Kikimor eggs. Yes, of course. Good work. Indeed, a reward is due. <clears throat> Madame de Bourbeau, I presume? Here you know something about the missing farmhand. Jean-Luc? Yes. We went to examine this year's seedlings. Something had been nibbling at them. Then we heard these odd noises. Jean-Luc went to reconnoiter and never returned. Where did you last see Jean-Luc, madame? Exactly. In... in the fields, uh, north of here, by the wood. New seedlings there? 
I was under the distinct impression we had planted them all on the south slope. Almost all, my dear. I requested that some be planted to the north, by the grove. Just the remainders. Madame, could you describe Jean-Luc? Tall, exceedingly well built, hair black as pitch. Dear, concentrate. There is not a peasant that is not well built. They work in the fields all day. He means scars, birthmarks, that sort of thing. Mm, then none, I suppose. But he did wear a pendant around his neck. A silver one. Silver jewelry on a farmhand? It was a gift, I believe. Or that is what he claimed. Mm, should be enough to go on. Then what are you fritting round here for? Get to work! Hmm. Perhaps I can turn these tunnels into an extended cell. Can't pull one over on me, Richard. You think Witcher. you chased off Philippert Forefinger's hands? You've earned my regard, sir. Bread's really stale. Been here a while. Good vintage. Must have been a special occasion. Blanket was laid out here. Someone had a picnic or something. Footprints, two sets. Split. Woman turned back here. Man kept going. Man's footprints lead here. Blood. Human. Trees, as if something rolled over them. So is Shalemar. Only they dig tunnels and move like that. Large, deep tracks. to that cave. Straight, dull, perfect for digging. Mm. Whoa, Shale Mars close.
here. Pretty fresh, some of them. Gonna have to brew some bait. Need the blood of a recent victim and some of the mushrooms that grow here. Fresh corpse. Must be Jean-Luc. Crushed ribs, cracked skull. Shalmar did this. No two ways about it. Highly decayed, partly eaten. Been lying here a while. throughout the cave. Side. Same color as Madame de Bourbeau's. Scent won't spread from here. Need to spell uh, bait near the tunnel edge.
will be here in a minute.
The book of lust is hard and good. By the end of the day. Monsieur de Bourbeau, can we talk? You'd best be bearing good news. Get on with it. This Jean-Luc, he did have a silver pendant. Kept a lock of Madame de Bourbeau's hair in it, matter of fact. What? But how could she? To be unfaithful to me? A lord and heir with a plow-spawned peasant? Oh, she shall pay for this. Don't doubt that. But mind paying me first? For services beyond the scope of the contract? There. It'll come out of her dowry. Got rid of the beast that was giving you trouble. It was a Shelmar. Shelma? Whatever could that be? Mmm, kind of like a cross between a mole and a caterpillar. Just big as a barn. Oh. Huh? Well, Master Witcher, you make a poor first impression, but ultimately proved your worth. There. Your reward. Now, forgive me. I must speak to my wife. Folks say some large armored mole tunnels beneath the foundations. It's why things are toppling. I do what they paid me to do. Has but Pardon me. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you could help me. You seem a strapping lad. What's the problem? I acquired this old storehouse at auction. As it turns out, it stinks like an Ophiri larder and is loud as a Novigrad brothel. Bumbotch it all. I infested my life savings. Now I fear to go inside. Do help me, Witcher. All right. I'll take a look inside your storehouse. To be honest, every last man jack in his car.
storehouse safe? Fetch this empty dead, sweet bug. Well, have you seen to my storehouse? Storehouse was full of rotten meat. Attracted ghouls I had to get rid of. Saint Lebiodos callous heels. But is it safe now? Completely. Mm-hmm. Though I'd advise you to clean the meat out quick, before other ghouls show up. Of course. Yes, I shall put my men to it, Toot Sweet. Meanwhile, perhaps you need something? I've a meager stock just now, but come back in two days to see a full array. At a discount that will make you cross-eyed. Was wondering, previous owners, what did they use the warehouse for? Why was it full of carrion? It was Gottfried Nork's before it was mine. Yes, that Nork. Toussaint's most famed charcutier. That is, until his saucisse a la moutarde poisoned half the court of her illustrious highness, the Duquesa. Take it he fell out of favor. Favor's not the word. He was cast in prison, all his property confiscated and auctioned off. Show me where you're peddling. So long. Sweat dripping down my bum furrow. <laughs> <laughs>